get your little gingerbread man? Okay, all right, all right, okay, all right. Hey y'all, good morning. Well, it is 11 a.m. It's so late. I woke up so late, I literally got up like five minutes ago. Um, yeah, I was supposed to get up at like seven this morning, but I've been battling migraines for the last um, four days. I actually missed work yesterday, which sucks because I need my hours right now because um, come January, the it's the January slowdown. If you work retail like I do, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have a long day today. I have to clean this house, uh, take pictures for eBay and Etsy, make some jewelry for us and some packages out too. I have a couple packages that need to go out. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, oh, and I'm gonna be showing you guys my thrift haul. So stay tuned for that as well at the end of the video. Um, and yeah, all right. Well, we're gonna have a good day today. Be positive, we're gonna have a good day today. And I hope you guys have a good day as well. Hey guys, welcome back to another thrift haul video. Um, my name is Rachel, I am from the Manor House Vintage. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So I just wanted to really quickly show you guys some of the items that I picked up. Um, I was supposed to do this video Thanksgiving day and I just completely forgot. And then I've just been working. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on. All these items are items that I've picked up in the last couple weeks. So let me get started. So this item mom found last week um, it does work. It is a temperature gauge. Um, it's German. So we picked this guy up for like 230 or 230, 290. And then this I picked up with mom. These are the uh, Fitz and Floyd salt and pepper shaker set, which is so cute. You get three of them for 498. Um, originally I picked these up with my sister. Um, and I went back for another set. So I got four pieces of four like table setting um, because I figured like two, mm, maybe not. So I figured four would do better than two. So I got two more um, and I paid $1.98 for each, which kind of stinks, but I haven't seen this pattern. Um, there it is. Takasan, Blue Haven, Japan. They're newer, I believe. And if they're not newer and they're older, they're in excellent condition. Um, I just really love the pattern on these. So I figured I'll put probably put these on eBay and on Etsy, see which one does better. Um, so I got those and I did get the creamer and the sugar. So there's the sugar and then the creamer is right here. So I picked that up. Um, and then my sister spotted this. And these are really nice because you could put like bottle brush trees in here. You could put utensils um so i paid $3.98 for that and i will not try to clean this one the last one i tried to clean um it took like all the finish off it started taking a little bit and then it just took the whole thing off so this is gonna stay exactly as it is then i picked this up with mom look at this you guys oh my goodness i've never seen it um i've never seen these the norotaki usually they're like they're the rounder creamers not the square so I picked this up um, this one I paid I paid up for this guys I paid like $4.98 for this but look at the paint on that it's in excellent condition then I picked these up with my sister I wish I would have gotten this on camera for you guys but um, it was kind of difficult to film that day but these are George Briard I got two of them and I paid $1.98 for those. I think I paid, I wanna say I paid $48 or $50 for everything that day. Um, and look at this, I got some uranium glass with the original aluminum top, which is amazing. Look guys, $1.98. Like those prices are amazing. And that's at my Goodwill. Some of the other Goodwills, they don't really, um, they don't price like that anymore. Like this would have been like $5.98 or $7.98 if you went to a different Goodwill, like one of those boutique -y ones. Um, but I'm so thankful mine are still like reasonably priced. Um, oh, and then I picked this up. This beautiful um, blue and white, I love this. It's newer. Yeah, it's newer, but um, look how pretty the detail is on that. 
So I picked that up. Um, I found this cute little uh, trinket dish. I thought this would do good on, uh, it's Hanley Pottery. So it's Ironstone, $2.98. I thought this would do pro probably good on like Etsy or as a giveaway. Um, we, me and my sister both found this, this gorgeous piece. It's reverse painted. Um, I think it might be a reproduction though. Like just a vintage one, not a uh, antique one. Um, I didn't notice it at the time, but unfortunately, I couldn't. I couldn't test it. I was so excited about it that I just forgot to test it. Um, the switch is missing, so I can't turn it on for you guys. But this is what it looks like. So I'm either gonna fin fix it and then sell it, um, or I'm just gonna sell it as is um, with the uh, idea that. The person who buys it would have to you know replace the the cord oh and then i got um yes i do have one more thing i got uh some like folk arty vintage santas so like four figurines they're carved resin i'll put a picture up so you guys could see it because i already have them um in my display right now and i don't want to grab them but look at this Ugh. oh my gosh can you guys believe it a genie bottle um, but look at it. Oh my gosh. I've never, this is crossed off my bucket list. I've never found a genie bottle before. I mean, I found, I've sold this before the Empoli bottom, but I've never had the top for it. So this was like, oh my goodness. This was such a treat and it's in excellent condition too. I don't even think they used it, but she did such a good job at wrapping it. She put some little um, stuff in here. So it wouldn't, you know, like get ruined. She put a little bubble wrap. Um, this was her grandmother's. Her grandmother had passed and they were cleaning out the house. And she was telling me that she has a bunch of swung vases too. But unfortunately, she's not going to be selling them. So yeah, but we still got this piece. So this was nice. And she was looking stuff up on eBay, but I guess she didn't think this was worth it. Worth the money um, to list it. So yeah so there's that um I tested it to see if it was uranium but there's no uranium in it um but yeah look how pretty this is the stopper is gorgeous now this right here this is just um let me see oh there's a little chip right here but I don't see anything it looks like it's from the mold but yeah super excited about that. I would keep it, but you know, I buy these things to sell them, not to keep them. So I have to keep reminding myself, Rachel, you don't need to keep everything. Um, it doesn't really go with my style anyways. I don't have mid century. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. Some of the items that I've picked up in the last several weeks, I am still trying to process that bag there, that bag there. Um, there's a bag there and I did get that mirror too. That mirror I paid $2 for. So that's probably going to go on, um, Etsy. Kind of think about that for a second. All right, you guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving and I hope you're having a great holiday season. Um, it's like 80 degrees here in December. Yeah. Uh, not, not feeling very holiday-ish. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thanks again for tuning in and I hope I will see y'all again very soon. Thank you.